The Micro FX SIM tube is a low-powered X-ray tube operating at 35 kV and 100 microamps. The high-voltage power supply is integrated with two interlocking vacuum sensors which shut off the X-rays when the SIM chamber is vented. Each FX SIM tube has a set of fabricated custom collimators which are available for spot size adjustment from several millimeters down to 200 microns. Collimators are interchangeable and may be applied by screwing onto the end of the FX SIM tube. The FX SIM tube can in be interfaced to almost any SEM. High angle 35 degree as well as horizontal flange mounts are available for almost every tube package. Imagine now being able to analyze almost all materials for almost all elements at the very low PPM range. Trace elements in glass, European WIRA standards, powder samples, alloys, traces and alloys for alloy sorting, computer boards, 3% lead for whisker growth, wafer analysis, and thin film applications down to a few nanometers. Let's try it out and run our first sample. The sample is put inside the SCM chamber. The SCM is evacuated. KV is turned on. It's a BS38C tool steel. 0.81 manganese, 0.21 vanadium, 0.24 nickel, and 0.28 chromium. Here's the EDS spectrum. This is what the E-beam can do. Notice the three little peaks to the left of the iron peak. There's your manganese, chromium, and vanadium. Barely visible out of the background, and almost no nickel and copper visible. Now let's try the FX SIM tube. X-rays on, lights on, trace vanadium, chrome, manganese, nickel and copper as well present with peaks 10 times the size of the other peaks. This is a trace uh, 610 glass by NIST. Sample goes in the chamber. SEM is pumped down. KV is turned on, 200 to 400 ppm trace element spikes. Here's your EDS analysis, large background, trace peaks. The key to, XR to XRF is very low background. Okay, let's try the FX SIM tube. X-rays on, lights on. So just a few more peaks. It's ideal for almost every element on the periodic table. And the best thing about the complement to EDS analysis is the higher in energy, the more sensitive XRF becomes. So to recap, the FX SIM tube is a great way to offer XRF inside your electron microscope. Thank you.